Good afternoon, this is John from AtoZSalvage.com. Today I'm out here at uh, Atlanta North Co Park on a beautiful afternoon. It's about 75 degrees. And uh, I wanted to show you how to do a vehicle inspection. Uh, you never want to rely on just photos. When you make a bid, it's always smart to look at it yourself or have us do it for you. Uh, this is an 05 uh, Chrysler Town & Country minivan. It's listed as run and drive. We're going to check it out today and see what we think about it. Usually the first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll verify the run and drive, go inside, and see if we can get it to start. Now it's dead at the door now, which is not all that unusual because Sometimes these things will sit for several months while they're waiting. Um, this one is a higher trim line. It's got leather and the power seat and some other options on it. Um, usually I'll, I'll take a quick look at the interior just to see the overall cosmetic condition. Uh, I know a lot of folks don't care about the cosmetics if you're just looking for a motor or something like that. Um, but a lot of our clients like for us to verify that everything is intact and in decent condition. Uh, this, this vehicle is fairly worn for the year. It's got quite a bit of cosmetic issues and dirt, worn out leather, cracked leather. Uh, the carpet is pretty much something that can be pulled out and thrown away. Um, take a look inside here. It's got a third row in the back, folding seats, and the carpet is pretty dingy and pretty dirty. After a quick look at cosmetics, I like to go around and look at the exterior condition, especially the tires and the paint and body, see if I see anything unusual. Um, a lot of times, especially with white cars in the photo, they can tend to look quite Quite a bit better in the photo than they do in person especially with dirt and dings uh, this vehicle has got a rust spot here on the back at the edge of the door and walking around the back here i see a bunch of spider cracks in the back bumper it's kind of bent and warped you can see the spider crack there also like to take a look at the tire condition. This right rear tire is pretty well dry rotted and got some edge wear here. Probably got a few more months left on it. Let's walk around to the front here and take a look. You got some edge wear on this one too. This is definitely an alignment issue here. The outside edge is worn out pretty well. Um, the next thing I do is I like to take a look underneath the vehicle and verify that the suspension and steering is all intact and not bent and damaged. Uh, as you can see here, there's been some oil leaking for a while. Look at your CV boots and make sure they're not torn. I don't see any impact damage or anything on any of the oil pan or other components. Steering and suspension all look pretty good. And also go around to the rear here. Let's take a look at the rear. The axle looks pretty straight. The mufflers pretty good condition and I don't see any any damages to the underbody or frame here the leaf springs all look straight yeah the gas tank looks good no dings and let's go take a look at the engine if it won't start um, Copart will bring a jump pack for you. They do provide that service. What I'll usually do is I'll look at the fluids here and just verify their condition and their level. This is pretty dirty there. Looks like it needs serviced. Let's 
check the transmission. It's pretty clean. You can also take a visual look at your your uh, brake fluid. A lot of times when the brake fluid is low, it's either because of a leak or because the actual brake system needs service with the pads or the shoes because they've worn down. As they wear down, the, the uh, level will drop that's in the uh, master cylinder. The belt is intact and looks, looks pretty decent. Um, keep in mind, you're not allowed to bring any tools into the auction. They are very strict about their security. Uh, they will allow you to start and move in gear, forward and reverse, and do a visual look, let the vehicle idle, etc. But any kind of tools are not allowed, which is typical policy. They don't want people stealing keys, and, or excuse me, stealing parts off the vehicles, and walking out 10 pounds heavier than when you came in. <laughs> um, overall, the vehicle does need some work. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have them attempt to jump in a little while. And then we're gonna bid on this for a client. Uh, we do provide inspection and bidding services. You do have to have a license in most states to be able to bid. And we provide that broker service if you need it. Uh, just visit A to Z Salvage. That's A T O Z Salvage.com and click on get started. And Copart is a great place to buy. They have the largest inventory. Uh, have any auction in the United States and they are rapidly expanding and they can provide you with pretty much any kind of vehicle, RV, truck, motorcycle, boat, whatever you want. I would highly recommend Copart. And you can call us if you need any assistance or visit our website, a to z salvage.com. Thanks.